Hello friends. Today we will discuss quality control in road construction. And this is the fourth part in series. In the first part, we discussed control of alignment, level and surface, surface regularities. In second part, we discussed the quality control test requires for granular layers like sub-base and base coarse layers. In part three, we discussed bituminous layers, different types of bituminous construction and what kind of quality control tests are to be taken up at site to ensure the quality. And today in this part, we will discuss concrete pavements. That is the last part of this series, part four, concrete pavements. The quality of concrete is affected by different properties of its constituent materials like aggregate, cement, water, and also by method of construction. The purpose of quality control during construction is to ensure that all materials and finished product are as per design or contract agreement. Road construction specifications and estimates provide basis for effective quality control and they should be adhered to. The Ministry of Road Transport and Highways specification 2013, that is fifth revision, and Ministry of Rural, Rural Development specification for rural roads, first revision of 2014, provide guidelines for quality control of materials and construction. And these two books provide guidelines for ensuring the requisite quality of construction mm -hmm. for material and work that should be checked regularly. The testing frequency given in these specifications is the desirable minimum and it can be increased by the engineer in charge at site depending upon the situation. There are three types of concrete which are generally used in roads. Dry-lean concrete, DLC, that is used as a base layer and is provided below the concrete slab on high volume roads. Dry-clean concrete is not recommended in MORD specifications. Rather, roll compacted concrete or RCCP, roller compacted concrete pavements are suggested in MORD specifications for rural roads. And this is the type of construction which is suitable for low volume roads. And the pavement quality concrete of grade either M30 or M40 depending upon the traffic conditions is the concrete slab which is designed to serve as bearing surface. M30 concrete generally we use for rural roads and M40 concrete is used for high traffic roads like state highway and national highways. The constituent of any concrete, whether it is dry lean or roller compacted or PQC, is the same cement, coarse aggregate, fine aggregate, and water. Dry lean concrete is a zero slump concrete and it is provided as sub base for CC pavements. The materials for making DLC is same as for any other type of concrete that is cement, coarse aggregate, fine aggregate and water and all these materials must be checked for their quality as per relevant IS code before start of the work. And source of all materials and relevant test data are to be approved by the engineer in charge at least 45 days before start of the work. If fly ash is to be used, then it should conform to IS 3812 part 1. When you mix the coarse aggregate and fine aggregate, then aggregate gradation, which is desired for dry and concrete should satisfy this requirement. The maximum size of aggregate 26.5 millimeter, and that is the grading specified in MORT specification. The sampling and testing of cubes, Material for making cube must be taken from uncompacted mix from different locations immediately before compaction at the rate of three samples for each thousand meter square laid each day. And the in situ density is checked by making three density holes at locations equally spaced along a diagonal that bisects each 2000 meter square area laid each day. And this density is generally determined by sand replacement method and the minimum density which is to be obtained is 98% of that achieved during trial length construction. Near edges, this density should not be less than 96% of the reference density and reference density here is the density which is achieved during trial length section. 
the thickness of the layer average thickness should be as per contract drawing but at any single location it should not be less 8 millimeter less than the specified thickness and wherever this thickness is less by more than 8 millimeter than the specified thickness such area should be corrected and the correction or repair can be done with the concrete having aggregate size of 10 millimeter and below the frequency of quality control test for dlc the first is level as alignment and texture and this we have already discussed in part one of quality control here i would say that the tolerance in surface level is plus minus 5 millimeter as recommended in mrth 2013 and the frequency of test on cement aggregate and water is same as for pavement quality concrete and that part we will discuss little later when we go to pavement quality control the frequency of quality control test for dlc now these are different type of tests which are to be conducted during construction gradation and moisture content of aggregate at least once per day workability i told you it is zero slump concrete and in situ density of dry lean concrete it should be one per three meter cube of concrete strength of concrete as per is 516 six beams and six cubes per day are to be cast three each for seven days and 28 days and cube strength should not be less than 7.5 mpa after seven days megapascal after seven days the in situ density of trial length that should be determined as for three tests for each 2000 meter square of area or part thereof and transverse contraction joints should be checked for their width and depth 18 to 24 hours after laying another type of concrete is roller compacted concrete and it is given in MRD 2014 this concrete is used only on low volume roads the constituents are cement ply ash aggregate coarse aggregate and fine aggregate and cement can be of any of the following type that is ordinary portland cement portland pozzolana cement and portland slag cement and depending upon type of cement these must be tested as per relevant is code this opc can be either of 43 grade or 53 grade Portland Pajana cement should be tested as per IS1489 and similarly PSC as per IS455. If fly ash is also permitted in the contract and the contractor opt to use fly ash, then the fly ash should satisfy the requirement as given in IS3812 part 1. And these are the specifications. The fineness, specific surface area should be 320. Particle retained on 45 micron, 34%. Lime reactivity, soundness, and shrinkage, drying shrinkage percent maximum 0.15. Now, all these tests must be conducted before the start of the construction. Aggregate, the maximum size aggregate 26.5 millimeter, Los Angeles vibration value less than 35%, combined elongation flakiness index less than 40%, water absorption less than 3%. Aggregate impact value is then 30% and all these parameters I have defined in my separate video on roller compacted concrete pavements and that is available in Hindi and English both. Fine aggregate, deleterious material should not be more than 1% in case of clay lumps and 1% in case of coal and ignite. Material passing 75 micron sieve is permitted 3% in case of natural sand and up to 8% in case of crushed sand. Now, these are the parameters which should be approved by the engineer in charge before taking up the or before starting the work of construction. The grading of coarse aggregate and fine aggregate when combined should satisfy the requirement as given in this table and average compressive strength of each group of five cubes shall not be less than 30 MPA at 28 days. M30 is the grade of concrete which is used in RCC pavement, that is roller compacted concrete pavement. The quality control tests which are specified in MORD 2014 
are similar to what we discussed in case of driving in concrete that is gradation and moisture content of the aggregate once per day workability and in situ density of rccp that is roller compacted concrete pavement one test per 3 meter cube of concrete average density here should not be less than 97% of that obtained during trial length construction and similarly strength of concrete when determined as per is 516 Now here six beams and six cubes are casted per day, and three of them are tested for after seven days, and remaining three after 28 days. The average compressive strength of cubes after 28 days should not be less than 30 megapascal. In situ density of trial length. After rolling, the in situ density of freshly laid roller compacted concrete layer is checked. and it is checked by sand replacement method with 200 mm diameter hole three density holes are made along a diagonal which bisects the trial length and average density of these three holes is taken as the reference density and taken as 100% then when you test the in situ density of road compacted concrete pavement then the density is compared with this reference density the field density of regular work should not be less than 97% of this reference density the acceptance criteria for cracked concrete slab in case of rccp is given here the length of single crack in any panel should not be more than 1500 mm even though its depth is less than half of the slab depth and the cumulative length of cracks with a depth of crack less than half the depth of the slab in a panel should not be more than 2000 mm and slabs with cracks which are penetrating to more than half the slab depth shall not be accepted so these are the quality control criteria during construction of roller compacted concrete third type of concrete is pavement quality concrete and it is laid as a bearing course as a slab and it is recommended for low volume roads as well as for high volume roads so it the specifications are given in mord specifications of 2014 as well as mortsh specifications of 2013 the constituents are cement coarse aggregate sand chemical admixtures silica fumes and fiber and these are not necessarily required in all cases but they are also sometimes constituents of pavement quality concrete the grading of coarse aggregate and fine aggregate should meet the requirement as given here and it is used to design the mix and the grade of concrete is m30 for low volume concrete and m40 for high volume concrete like this highway and state highways the pavement quality concrete strength to be measured in terms of structural strength and it should be 4.5 mpa for m40 concrete and 3.8 and 3.8 megapascal for m30 concrete trial length should be constructed at least 1 month in advance of the proposed start of the paving work and for this purpose the mort specification suggests that a trial length of 100 mm should be constructed in case of mechanized construction and 50 m in case of hand guided method whereas mord specification suggests that this trial length section can be of 30 m length the average cube strength of the cores which are taken from the trial length so the material which is used for construction of trial length is used for casting of the cube and 30 cubes are cast in case of national highway and state highway that is when you construct a trial length of 100 meter as per mort th specifications or four cubes are cast in case of mord specification that is low volume roads and the average cube strength of these 30 or four cube should be at least 85% of the characteristic strength of the grade of the concrete specified for the corresponding age of 28 days and no individual core has a strength less than 75% so that is the criteria for approving the trial section 
and this is to be approved by engineer in charge. The acceptance criteria in quality and distress, tolerance for surface regularity, level, thickness and strength. The surface regularity plus minus 6 mm in transverse direction and plus minus 7 mm in long term direction when measured using 3 meter straight edge. Tolerance level from plus 5 mm to minus 6 mm. Thickness plus minus 10 mm and acceptance criteria for distress or cracked slab is same as we discussed in case of roller compacted concrete that is the length of single crack in any panel shall not be more than 1500 mm and the cumulative length of crack with the depth of crack less than half the depth of the slab in a panel shall not be more than 2000 mm. The slab and with cracks which are penetrating to more than half of the slab depth will not be accepted and the contractor has to remove and replace this slab at his cost. The type of test and frequency of test for quality control during construction as given in MORD specification 2014 are like this. That gradation and moisture content of the aggregate once per day, workability, one per three meter cube of concrete, strength of concrete, six beams and six cubes are to be cast per day and three of them are to be tested after seven days and remaining three after 28 days and the strength here is compared with the strength which you achieve during trial section. Size, spacing, paneling of double bars and location of different joints to be checked prior to casting of the concrete at site and separation membrane which is provided between the base and the concrete slab is to be checked prior to laying. The levels and alignment, level tolerance, surface regularity including camber is to be checked once per day on regular basis, width of pavement and position of the paving edges to be checked for each day's work regularly at grid points and pavement thickness, alignment of joints, depth of double bars, texturing and edging to be checked for each day's work. The quality control criteria for PQC as given in MORT specification of 2013 is slightly different. The first is in situ density. The density of compacted layer should be checked and it should be such that air wires is not more than 3%. And for calculation of air wires, you first calculate the theoretical maximum dry density of the concrete by using specific gravity of the constituents of the mix and also the average density of three measurements made on cores or of 150 millimeter diameter. And if GT is the theoretical maximum gravity and GB is the bulk specific gravity of the cube or the cores, then air wires is calculated using this equation. And what this specification suggests that this air wire should not be more than 3%. The thickness of the slab at any point the variation permitted is from minus 5 to plus 10 millimeter of the specified thickness as per drawing and thickness deficiency more than 5 millimeter may be accepted and paid at reduced rate but in no case the thickness deficiency shall be more than 10 millimeter. Other criteria of quality control as given in MORTS 2013 specifications for cement physical and chemical properties are to be checked as per relevant IS code and these are to be checked once for each source of supply and occasionally when called for in case of long or improper storage. The coarse and fine aggregate, they should be checked for gradation, one test for every day's work of each fraction of coarse aggregate and fine aggregate, deleterious material and water absorption are to be checked regularly as required subject to minimum of one test per day for coarse aggregate and two tests per day for fine aggregate. And this data shall be used for correcting the moisture demand or water demand of the mix on daily basis. Then coarse aggregate should be tested for physical property like Los Angeles abrasion value or impact value once for each source of supply. And soundness test is conducted before approving the aggregate and every month subsequently. And alkali aggregate activity is also conducted before approving the aggregate source and every month subsequently. The strength of concrete is measured 
by two cubes and two beams per 150 meter cube or minimum of six cube and six beams per day, whichever is more. Core strength of the hardened concrete only in case of doubt. Workability of fresh concrete to be tested by slum test and what is suggested that initially one test for each dumper load at both batching plant site and paving site and when the work starts, sampling may be done from alternate dumper. The thickness of the slab from the level data of concrete pavement surface and subbase at grid points of 5 meter by 3.5 meter or 6.25 meter by 3.5 meter. So these are the quality control tests during construction as given in MORT specification of 2013 fifth revision. So friends, thank you very much for watching this video. You can suggest your comments in the comment box.